Welcome to CCAST, everyone. I'm Ziyech Karaval from CK Research, and I'm here in Atlanta. It's uh, Major League Baseball All-Star Week, and I'm here with Matt Vincent from the University of Florida. That makes sense, right? MLB yeah. All-Star Week, so... Of course. Talk, yeah. <laughs> uh, now, Matt, you are, uh, I think your title was Assistant Athletic Director of IT um, uh, for Florida Athletics, and uh, when we were just prepping for this, it's kind of a complicated environment that you have there, the way you run IT. IT for this. So talk about your role and uh, you know how the IT department is structured for the athletic department. Okay. So uh, so so what we are is a, we're considered a direct support organization of the university. So we are a nonprofit um, company called the University Athletic Association. Uh, not state employees, not part of the, um, the the university. So what we do is we get an internet connection from the university, and then we manage our systems, um, our complete network everything uh, uh, on our own uh, so you know it's kind of like you said a, a network within a network yeah. there and I think when people think of uh, U of F they think of football mm -hmm. right but uh, it's much more diverse than that and just talk about what the athletic department covers there and uh, what that entails sure uh, so we have a, a staff of about 13 of us that uh, uh, handle um, everything within our our sports so Every, you know, the video guys, we need to support the video um, people. We support our broadcast people. Uh, and then obviously the, the business, the core side as well. Um, and then, you know, out to the sports as well. We have the football stadium. We, we have the stadium wireless in there. And we have a, a, a little bit of that extended out to our, our baseball stadium. And then even a smaller portion kind of to each. Uh, we, we make sure at least every, um, every uh, uh, press area is, is on that yeah. network. And so typically for, uh, uh, for a football game, that's I think you're 90,000 fans, something like that. Uh, but the other ones are, you know, you're, you're dealing with thousands of fans across the different events all the time, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. And uh, um, so when you think about the role that the network plays today, compared to even just a few years ago, right? Mm -hmm. how, how has that changed? <clears throat> I think uh, what you've seen, uh, even even in, um, in in what we've uh, seen in the past day or so, and listened to, uh, the the number of devices isn't necessarily growing. You're not not necessarily seeing a lot more people jump on it, but the consumption yeah. has has definitely uh, jumped up. I mean, I think when we first started uh, our our stadium network, we were regularly in a game doing maybe seven to eight terabytes of data. Now we are up to eighteen terabytes of data. Hmm. Uh, in, in just a six hour period. Yeah, and what's, what's driven that increase? What are, when you look at the analytics, what are people doing today that they weren't doing before? I think it's just a, just a lot more streaming, a lot more, um, uh, a lot more requirements of uh, people wanting to share their experiences while they're in there. You know, the upload of their, their, uh, their you know, anything on, on the Instagram, the, you know, the social media, we have a lot, we, you know, not a ton, but you know, twenty thousand ish students that would be in there as well. You, you have yeah. that younger group that are going to drive it as well. Yeah. Well, you know, I was at the game last night. And I don't think there's a person I saw that wasn't doing something on or at the home run derby mm -hmm. uh, that wasn't doing something on social, mm -hmm. right? So that's that's now part of the norm. And um, and so talk about the relationship with Extreme, um, why you chose them, and how they played into what you're doing. Since I've started, I started uh, with the Athletic Association in about 2003. And um, we were using, obviously, in Terrasis at the time. Um, and I, I think we, even before then, they were Capletron, yeah. Terrasis Extreme. Um, so we were already using it on the business side. So we've had a relationship with them and, and kind of have grown as they've grown. And um, actually, uh, Kevin uh, with uh, Extreme was our, our sales guy when we were just on, oh, on that Terrasis. side. Yep. Yeah. And then so once, uh, once he moved into the into that business, into the you know entertainment sports, he held on to us because we were still you know on the sports side, not yeah. just a university client, and um, and so just he we've kept in touch as they've grown that uh, mm -hmm. side of it, and um, you know it, I would as they were in stadiums, hey come check this out, we'd go see some of the stuff, and and compared to where I was seeing some of the other installs, they were just doing it better and, yeah. and more consistent and just uh, more reliable. So. Yeah, I've actually, and if you look at some of the things I've written on Network World and SiliconANGLE, I've talked about Extreme being the king of complicated Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, they're in Fenway, they're in Wrigley, they're in Dodger, or, uh, uh, LA Memorial, some of the more older iconic mm -hmm. stadiums, Lambeau. 
uh, which were never designed for Wi-Fi, right? And your stadium is fairly old too, right? Mm -hmm. I think going on 90 years yeah, now? Yeah, 19 something, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's actually, it could, it's, it's well older than yeah. that. Yeah. And uh, so have you found that to be true that, um, um, the, the, you know, your environment, you know, there's a lot of concrete that yeah. I know the older college stadiums uh, can be problematic sometimes. Yeah. How, how's that gone? Definitely unique. Uh, I'd say the, uh, just, just trying to figure out how to, you know, nowadays you build something and even when, when we're talking about renovations, we want everything to make it back to a closet somewhere. You know, I, I want to be able to walk into yes. a door, go in, in there as it is right now. If I have something go out on you know, one of our sides, I might have to crawl up into a, a ceiling on the concourse and walk across some, some beams and, and get, to a, get to a little just cabinet that's got an AC unit on the side of it, you know, just in the core drilling that you had to do to get through spots and, and just you know, areas that, hey, we can't put something here because this might fall apart, so let's you know, reroute this way or something yeah. like that. So definitely, definitely, and, and just trying to, find an area that we can protect in a way that, you know, these, we're expected to keep these things up 365 yeah. days a year, even though, you know, we're, we're only hosting six games, maybe seven games in yeah. a season. Uh, but we're one of the unique, they're one of maybe two stadiums in the country that we stay open to the public. So we have students and people around town that use our, our football stadium as a, as a workout center. So oh, regularly, every that. day, you'll see people in there huh. running stadiums, jogging around there. Um, so, you know, kids just going in there, sitting there doing work. So we got to make sure that that, uh, that access is always there and hmm. up and running, which is at times, you know, especially this time of year, it's 90 plus degrees, feels like 100 plus yeah. and muggy and just, and they, they have stood, stood the test of time so far. And uh, since you're in IT and, uh, you know, it seems every event I go to, we talk about AI, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you about it. What are you guys thinking about from an AI perspective, both operationally, but then also fan facing? I think uh, even just what I've been hearing here, the new, uh, like the platform one things, those kind of, uh, we've really, the more that uh, we've heard about that, the, the idea of being able to have your system tell you, hey, something's up here. This, this, this isn't acting the way that it, it was you know, last week or the week before, and, and being able to be a little proactive instead of waiting for that group to call or, or that you know, an alert that, oh, I just had a switch go down, the whole building's down, you know, that type of thing. It'd be nice to uh, kind of know that ahead of time. And then on the on fans facing side, I think ways that we can at least make the connectivity good enough in, a, in the middle of a game that someone can go onto the app and maybe be able to ask the app, where, where's the nearest spot for me to go get a hot dog or go get this and, and being able to get that, that, um, that, that feedback right yeah. then and a way for us to kind of help them quickly instead of going and finding the nearest uh, service representative or something like that. Yeah, and uh, I, you know, as you poll your audience, what are the kinds of things that they want more of? Well, the, the, the things that everybody always wants, uh, it, it, they want better concessions and they want good bathrooms. Yeah. You know, that's, the, that's the first thing. But, um, well, the concession's yeah. interesting, though, because if you've got the right data uh, and you understand just even telemetry off mobile phones, you can actually help direct people to concessions that maybe mm -hmm. aren't as crowded, correct? Yep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, and, Bathrooms, and, and, maybe not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the, the, the one thing that uh, they, they did early on uh, when we finally got an app was allowing someone to order ahead, you know, just small things to start out with. I'm going to order my stuff and I can walk up to a, a line that is on the side and my stuff's waiting for me instead of waiting in line to, to sit at the thing and order. Um, I think that's, that's been something that's been helpful. How, how's the adoption of that, of that been? Because I know when you look across pro sports, Baseball with an older demographic that's not done too well. Basketball, younger demographics done great. How about within your environment? I think we're a pretty good mix right yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 think, I think football seems to have more, uh, more people that are able to kind of handle it. Uh, you know, maybe in our basketball, the, uh, you know, the, the range, age range is, is different depending on the, on the sport. So um, I think there's a big enough of a mix and, and at, least, uh, at least not too many uh, Older, older people who may, may not be comfortable with that, they're not alone. They got enough, enough people around them to say, oh, oh, I can help you with that. You know, yeah, I can, yeah, yeah. And I've seen that, you know, walking through the stadium, helping, seeing people help each other get on the Wi-Fi, which is nice, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, since your job is to kind of look around the corner at other technologies, are there certain things, uh, mixed reality, things like that, that you 
really excite you? Um, I, I think I, I think we would. I mean, we don't. I, when I look at some of the things out there right now, they're not even anything earth shattering. It's just when we first put in our our stadium wireless, it was we just we need to be able to get connectivity. Yeah. We, when we have a, a football game, you can't make a phone call from about two hours before kick till about an hour after in a two mile radius. I mean, it just feels like you're completely uh, shut down. Sure, so, and you've got a little city there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so we started out, you know, just saying, okay, we just need to get connectivity. And now that you get to that point, now we're, we're able to kind of take a step back. Okay, that's solved, we got this. As things come out, um, you know, being able to, to leverage more of that network and not being scared to maybe bring on more of the AV side, may not, maybe not be so apprehensive to bring on the concessions and mm -hmm. instead of just saying, nope, nope, this is just wireless. I just want, you know, I think, I think that's, that's kind of where we're looking to grow first and, and just kind of get more, more things tied into it to be able to have that flexibility of, hey, I want to be able to, you know, have a person hit a button and, and know that they can, they can go and grab something in a sports shop or they can, yeah. You know, watch a replay from their from their device. We haven't done you know those kind of things quite yet. And I guess that's where the uh, extreme uh, platform one will help, right? The yeah. ability to be able to proactively tell you when there's issues. Yes. So as you roll those things out, you'll have the confidence that it's going to actually work. Yeah, and yeah. I'm hopeful of that. Yeah, yeah, that and and the idea that uh, that the solution has come far enough where you know the company might be comfortable enough to start using fabric in your in the sports yeah. environments in the in the stadiums where. It sounds like they're they're getting close to to pulling that trigger, which would be nice. Yeah, and why and why is fabric appealing to you? Uh, I just the 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 more I've uh, the more I've heard people describe it, and then the idea of you know, especially in, in the stadium and and how we plan to hopefully grow it. I don't want to have to have to sit there and overthink every little thing that we want to add to it. You want to add this, boom, plug it in. It's going to yeah. take care of all the things that it needs to do and you know, we need to add a TV or a new access point somewhere that we didn't have something. Go ahead, run the wiring, just plug it in, we'll, it'll be up, you know, that yeah. type of thing. That, that, the ease of use there. Yeah, well, if, you're, if you have, uh, from what I've seen from fabric deployments, if you have any kind of dynamic environment, which everyone does, or if you have a, a facility like a stadium where you run not just six football games, but concerts and corporate events and things like that, uh, that are highly dynamic, um, the operational speed at which you can work with mm -hmm. is really what's attracted people to it. And I, I think both of those would, would, uh, uh, would apply to you. Yeah. 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 And so. I think my, my staff also would, would enjoy that. You know, yeah. we, we, in that 13, we're, we're kind of broken up. So as far as networking, I have about three guys that probably would like to be able to have a little extra time. You know, it's interesting through all this AI talk, everyone's concerned about it taking jobs. Whenever I talk to companies, everyone's understaffed, <laughs> right? Yeah. So it's yeah. not like anyone's worried about losing their jobs from an IT perspective. Mm -hmm. They want AI to help them actually yeah. get Aug to the Augment, yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. and get, get to a level where they can actually do yeah. their job, Absolutely. right? So you're not fighting fires all the time. Absolutely, so, yeah. yeah. And I, 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 my, my hope is that, you know, the, our, our bosses and everybody uh, makes it look like, oh, you have this small group of people and they're doing the work of 20, you know? I, yeah. I, I really, I, I think, I think done the right way, and you know, AI is a is going to be great for us. Um, it just you know you just don't want to bite off too much at first. That, that's the yeah. biggest thing that we want. Yeah. Well, it's coming. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. All right, Matt. Uh, we're here at the All Star Game. I'm looking forward to the game tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. So yeah. Yeah. and uh, all right. So anything else you want to add? No, I think. Good. Good. Then I uh, appreciate your time. So I'm behalf of Matt Vincent from the University of Florida. I'm Zia Scaravall from ZK Research, and thanks for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button and give us a like, and I'll see you next time on my next episode of Zcast. Thanks.